This is the Menard Chevy Show, where we tour the country to find the finest race cars and rides that are part of the Bowtie breed. Bandemir Speedway, just outside of Denver, welcomes the Menard Chevy Show to the Rocky Mountains. Welcome to the Menard Chevy Show from Bandemir Speedway. We're just outside of Denver, Colorado. And when we come to Bandemir, there's always all kinds of Chevy eye candy. So let's get right to it and check out the first producer's pick. This 1946 Chevrolet pickup slash street rod belongs to Rick Cruckshank. Rick, what is this? Well, it started out as a rat rod and then it kind of turned into a street rod. and. It's just kind of taking on life of its own. It's kind of hard to put it in any category. When I take it to a show, they, they don't really know where to put it. It really is a pickup. We've had a lot of fun building it. It took about five years and uh, a lot of uh, changes along the way, a lot of headaches. Uh, but uh, surprisingly, it kind of came together at the end and we are real happy with it. And of course, under the hood, it's a 46 Chevy, but you have stuffed a Hemi. Yeah. We found a very rare Hemi out of a, I think it was out of a 56 Chrysler. This came with a Pontiac GTO motor, which we liked, but the Hemi just had more panache. You know, it, it, it had those big valve covers and we tore it all apart and we just, we felt like it was the crowning part, the crowning jewel of the project. And the bed, that just is the capper. Yeah, the bed uh, took on a life of its own too. It used to have side skirts on it. They just didn't work. It made it look like a Batmobile. So we took those off, uh, but kept the main feature. We painted it, polished it out, uh, put, we found some taillights off of a bus and incorporated those with the, the, the kind of the arrows on it. And then we, uh, we took some stainless steel straps and uh, to match my 55 and came out good. You know? What is it like driving down the highway in this thing? Well, I don't have a lot of miles on it yet, um, but I have driven it around. Everybody, you know, is giving, hanging out their window, waving at you, giving thumbs up, and you feel like uh, on the spot a little bit. This 1987 Monte Carlo, owned by Pam Warden and Roger Belmars, has everything it takes to earn the OPGI original honors. When you come to the Menard Chevy show, there's Monte Carlos everywhere. This one is a winner. We're Roger and Pam. You've got an Aero Coupe. That is rare. Yes, it is. Uh, only about 6,000 of them made. And this car has almost every option possible. Tell us what you got. Uh, for 1987, it came with the uh, Super, the Chevy uh, package, 75th anniversary. So there's a whole bunch of uh, power windows, locks, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it comes almost every option you can think of. Why did you have to have this car? Because it was a little bit different. Um, you know, the Montes, I like Montes, I like the bigger cars. Uh, but the Aero Coupe was a little bit more rare. I like the window. I mean, it just had a different look to it, so that's why. Pam, it's got the T-tops. I'm sure your blonde hair is flowing. <laughs> How do you like cruising around in this ride? I love it. I love it. It's a beautiful car. It's got, it's loaded. It has every option you could want. So it's, it's really lovely. And you have changed nothing. This car is pretty much bone stock. Yes, I like it just the way it is. I mean, a nice car to begin with. You know, I had the option of changing wheels on it and doing other things to it, you know. But I decided just to keep it stock. I like the wheels for stock wheels and um, just the ride. Once you start changing it, it ch changes the ride. And I decided not to do that. What kind of reactions do you get from people out there on the highway since this is a rare machine, only two years? Uh, actually, it was funny because just today, I was driving in Pam, what happened? I was to... noticing the heads turning and it was funny. It was, it was, yeah. it was fun to get the reaction yeah. for this car. You know, usually you see a lot of heads turning for the little sporty, but it's fun. Congratulations to Pam Warden and Roger Belmars for winning the OPGI Original Award here at Bandemir Speedway. Stay with us for more from the Mile High Menard Chevy Show as we queue up a trio of trucks for you to enjoy. We'll be right back. The Menard Chevy Show is being brought to you by Thread Wizard, the world's fastest boat cleaner. Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. 
and by dustless blasting. It's the future of surface preparation. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show from Bandemir Speedway. Check out this cool ride. It is a Holden Ute imported from Australia. It's got an LS3, but look at that. The wheel's on the wrong side of the truck. How cool is that? If you think this ride's cool, check out these award winners. The Gunk Tough and Trusted Award here at Bandemir Speedway goes to Steve Thorne and his rare and radical 1942 Chevy 5BM. The story behind this 1942 pickup truck goes all the way back to World War II. Steve, tell us how it all started. This pickup was sitting behind a guy's shop um, while I was working and I, I studied it for eight years. I come to find out that it was a 1942 pickup sitting in the weeds behind this guy's shop. It was built the uh, second week of February 1942 on the third week of February 1942, all civilian production stopped. Now, a lot of people would have just gone with a small block Chevrolet. Why not you? <clears throat> well, anybody could, <laughs> could put a, a V8 crate engine into a vehicle. They're, they are strong, they're bulletproof engines. It came with a stove bolt. I wanted it to end its life with a stove bolt. So it was a one ton with no box on the back. A one-ton frame is seven inches deep, and a half-ton frame is three inches and a quarter. We had space issues when we put new mountings and put the cab back on. We discovered there was about a two-inch gap. So the piece that fills that gap that you can see on the pickup um, is all handmade because any of the aftermarket ones didn't achieve the look that I wanted to have. A lot of time spent on the hickory wood in the bed. Hickory is two and a half, three times more dense than oak and I didn't want an oak floor. By shortening the bed, we were able to change some of the uh, cross members. So the wood is really tacked down pretty good on four different cross members. It's a driver, one of the last cars before World War II, and you are born in 1942 on December 7th. That's cool. Yeah, the truck and I are the same years old. <laughs> Steve Thorne and his rare and radical 1942 Chevy 5 BM have earned the Gunk Tough and Trusted Award here today at Bandemir. This producer pick is a very cool 1950 3100 Chevrolet. But what is cooler about it is the fact is it's like a real life buddy flick. Two car guys, Max and Dino, partnered up on the car. Guys, this thing is amazing. And the way it started out, it was supposed to be a gift for your son. Tell us about it. Yeah, it was a gift for my son. I, I bought it for his 16th birthday. He, uh, I met, I, I bought it on eBay. They shipped it in. When I finally met the guy, I met him in a parking lot here locally and uh, took my son down. And he says, hey, dad, let's check out this truck. So we did, pulled it in the parking lot. Guy asked me about his Dino. I said, yeah, and he said, here's your keys. I give it to my son on his 16th birthday. He walked around and he said, Dad, I'm not going to drive that. I don't like it. I'm not going to drive it. Max, a lot of work in this truck. What did you do to add on to it to make it the ride we see today? Well, I made the rear end look like a 1960 uh, Impala. I did a Continental kit on it. I molded all the front bumpers so they matched the truck itself. We did a complete interior on it with headliner and door panels, which the original truck didn't come with anything like that. Uh, we molded the dash, put in a TV, put in a camera. Engine-wise, we just get, kept the Crate 350 in it. Uh, just wanted to make something that nobody else had. The idea that you guys get to basically play with cars, go in halves, and, and hang out and have fun, that is truly living the dream. Well, we're going to continue doing it. We both have the dream of doing a calendar, but I want to get at least 12 done. And then when they're all done, I'm going to sell them off one at a time and go blow the money on vacation and travel. And your son, he originally rejected the truck, but now I bet he thinks it's cool. He thinks he screwed it up at this point, yeah. And I, I will not, he drives my other cars. I have a lot of cars, he drives them all, but I will not let him drive that one. Our next award winner is also a 1950 Chevy 3100, a green machine owned by Rick Progmore that has captured the Duracell Crank It With The Copper Top Trophy. The green paint on this 3100 1950 Chevy is spectacular. Why green, Rick? You know, I seen a new Camaro going down the road one time and I thought that's the color it needs to be. So that's what we did. We tweaked it a little bit with gold pearl, but for the most part, it's 2011 Camaro Synergy Green. 
Now, there is a personal family history behind the truck. Tell us about it. Well, the truck was purchased brand new in October of 1949 by my grandfather's brother, my great uncle. And I purchased the truck, well, he pretty much gave me the truck, right before he passed away in 2001. Do you remember riding in the truck with your great uncle? You know, when I was about two, three years old, I can remember standing up in the front seats, going to the dump or going to get manure for the plants or whatever the case may be. But, oh yeah, I spent a lot of my youth in that truck. I bet he could never have imagined it would look like this. Supercharger hanging out of the hood, wheel tubs. Yeah, yeah. All I was going to do is put a paint job on it and some nice wheels, and things got a little out of hand. And the interior is immaculate. Well, thank you. It's a turbo 400, 400 transmission, and it's the stock bench seat just with uh, some cream color leather on it. What about the narrowed rear end? Why did you decide to go that route? You know, my idea of a hot rod has always been narrowed and tub rear end, chop top, blown motor. That's what I did. Now, how about on the road? I know you've driven it a couple of miles since the redo. What kind of reactions do you get when you're cruising the highway in your great uncle's old truck? Oh, it's it's pretty crazy. People slow down and almost cause an accident. So, uh, but uh, no, you know, if I keep my foot out of it, I can get about 12 miles a gallon out of it. So that's pretty uh, pretty unusual for that. That supercharged pickup that Rick Progmore brought to Vandermeer today is certainly deserving of the Duracell Crank It With The Copper Top Award. There's still plenty more of the Menard Chevy show to come, including a rare Camaro with a Hollywood connection. More from Bandemir Speedway when we return. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show. So many cool cars here at Bandemir, like this Gen 5 Camaro owned by Josh Lowenstein. Good to see some new school cars here, but we saw some old school Camaros, 1969, that might just be one of a kind. Spencer Weatherall has a rare Camaro today here at Bandemir that is a deserving winner of the Moonshine Sweet Tea Sweet Ride Award. It was an all-night thrash just to make it to the Menard Chevy Show. Spencer, you thrashed and you won the award. Yeah, I can't believe we won this award. You know, even my guys, we worked late on this car Friday night, and then even yesterday trying to get down to this show. The car's got .1 miles on it. ZL1 all-aluminum 427, that is rare. You know, they only made 69 of these cars. They're all aluminum, and this is a four-speed, which makes it a little bit more rare. But they were made to race against the 426 Hemi Cudas, which dominated NHRA drag racing. Uh, these cars came out. They had to make 50 of these cars to qualify. Chevrolet had told them, listen, 396 is only $322. It's going to be a little bit more than that. We've got the window sticker on this car. That option alone, just for the aluminum motor, was $4,168. The sticker on this car shows $8,200. Your normal Camaro with options, $3,500. This is exactly why we do this. You get to drive an all aluminum 427 with a four speed. It's amazingly fast. And what's amazing too, the ZL1s, they're all aluminum. So they weigh the same amount as a 302 Z28. Chevrolet gave them the same type of suspension. So these are the king of the muscle cars. Major horsepower, they brake incredibly well, and they corner incredibly well. So that's what's so amazing about a ZL1. Has anyone ever told you you look like Robert Redford? <laughs> that's kind of funny. So I've done some body double work and stand-in work for Robert Redford. I, I'll show you some pictures. But we just did a movie with him down in Colorado Springs. It'll be out in September. It's called Our Souls at Night. So. Yeah, I get that a lot, and you'll see me in the movie. Great car. Thanks for sharing your story. All right, thank you. Spencer Weatherall's Camaro certainly has a unique story and is certainly deserving of the Moonshine Sweet Tea Sweet Ride Award. Whenever the Menard Chevy Show rolls into Bandemir Speedway, you can count on there being rows and rows of Chevy aficionados. Let's turn our attention now to Chevelle's and this 1969 Malibu owned by Gary Harding that is certainly deserving of the Rock Auto Restored Award here at Bandemir. White Chevelle Malibu 1969, he calls it 
Casper. Where did it get that name? My friends back in the day used to call it Casper because it's a white car. When you got this car, there's an interesting story. You're just a teenager right out of high school. Yes, I got it from a little old lady back in 1993. She wanted to sell it. I uh, was going to give it to her grandson, didn't want it, so I picked it up. The car looked just like it does now, but you put a lot into it from Rock Auto. Tell us what parts and pieces helps keep this car on the road. Uh, mainly the brake shoes. I go through brake shoes a lot. It's a heavy car. Um, ignition parts, all from Rock Auto. It's got the 307 badge and came with the 307, but you changed that up big time. Yes, we changed it up to a 540 cubic inch big block Chevrolet, 712 horsepower. Now the name Casper, it's obviously white. How much work went into this paint job? I had to strip the whole car down. The original paint was just kind of cracking and getting blistery over the years. So I stripped the whole car down. A uh, little bit of Bondo work here and there. Repainted the car, it's three coats of single stage paint on there. Uh, the car got painted back in 95, 96-ish, around in there. Automatic transmission, but I bet you can lay rubber for miles. Oh yeah, yeah, you stomp on this thing, you are sideways. First gear is rubber, second gear is rubber, finally you'll hook up in third with some get going. Now how often do you use the car? Do you cruise it? We'll cruise it back and forth, uh, lunch, dinner, car shows here and there. So I mean, it's, it's a day, you could drive it daily if you wanted to. Clean and pristine perfectly described Gary Harding's 1969 Chevy Chevelle, and there is no doubt why it earned today's Rock Auto Restored Award. There's still more of the Menard Chevy show to come, and when we return, we're talking racing with the man whose family brought motorsports to the mountain. We'll be right back. Menard Chevy Show is being brought to you by Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. And by Gen Y Hitch, towing made easy. Welcome back to the Menard Chevy Show from Bandamere Speedway. When you come to the Chevy Show, there's all kinds of cool Chevys. Try fives everywhere, like this, 55 of Ted Aragon. And this car has got a cool, old school ladder bar suspension. It is just awesome. There is a lot of history behind this car, and there is a lot of history at this track. We're here at Bandamere Speedway with the man, John Bandamere Jr. John, your father's vision, you have carried the ball. What a great event. One of the things that mom and dad wanted when they started this was to, to develop a youth program. So we've continued that throughout the years. We have about 300 juniors here at this racetrack. And when you have a big junior program, that means you've got race cars for a long time. And, and of course, we're in the fourth generation now of some of these racers that started in the juniors. The vision for the facility, the Top Eliminator Club hangs over the track, carved into the side of a mountain. When you first saw what was happening here, could you have imagined what turned out? Actually, uh, really no. Uh, we moved about four and a half million yards of dirt, uh, which is unbelievable. We're just kind of hewn out of the side of the mountain. That is incredible. For people with Chevrolets, for people with cars, certainly a destination place. Bandamere Speedway, thank you so much for hosting. Our next producer pick is this beautiful 56 Chevrolet Bel Air clone owned by Marv, whose father helped build Bandamere Speedway. Marv, how cool is it that your father helped build this racetrack? It's a wonderful experience and something that I'll never forget with my whole family. Tell us about the car, 56 Chevrolet, where'd you get it? I bought it off of Craigslist and did a complete restoration on it. Uh, it was in very good shape to begin with, but where it's at today, I did it. I put Ken Diggett door handles on it. It's got a Lincoln Continental tilt hood on it, Lincoln Continental seats in it, and it's been Lord's. You have gone out of your way to make this thing comfortable. Power windows also. Power windows, power door locks, and everything. Right now I've got uh, four cars, and I kind of refer to it as uh, I have a wife and four mistresses. What does your wife think about your cars? She, one of them's hers. Time now for the LMC Truck Life Award. And today's honors go to a repeat winner, 
Mike Remley with another 1966 C20 custom camper. If you're a weekly viewer to the show, you might recognize this next winner. He goes back to back with a victory here at the Menard Chevy Show with another custom camper. Mike, you've got a system here. Yeah, I've been working on it for a while. Um, it's been, been, it takes a while to do them, but about every decade we can get one done. Why two? What's up with this model? I just like the custom campers, like the way they drive, the way they handle. Um, it was kind of a unique type of truck, and I just kind of, you know, got, got a niche for them, and I like them. So it's kind of my, my thing, I guess. The photographs of what it was to what it became, just amazing. Yeah, it was, uh, this truck here was actually pretty good shape. We got it out of, out of Southern California. It was originally bought by a lady. Uh, she went camping in it, and uh, it sat in California for basically his whole life until I uh, got the truck in 2011 and decided to restore it. The interior, it just takes you back. This is a time machine. Yep, we tried to get back to what it looked like back in 66. So if somebody you know, was gonna buy one, they would uh, use this truck, you know, you know, that color and design and color try to bring people back. We get a lot of people taking, taking them back when they come up and see it. How is it on the road? It drives pretty good. Actually, it's only got about 20 miles on it since the restoration. So we haven't really got on the road quite much yet. Of course, you got the dealership stuff, the auto lot stuff that is right. your trademark. And yeah. you almost have enough trucks that you could open a dealership. Well, we're trying to, but uh, my wife, wife probably wouldn't let me do that. But other than that, yeah, we like to. Working on, a, on another one that's a whole different type of car, but um, it's working out good for us. Going back to back at Bandemir, that is a big deal. Yeah. What do you got in the hopper? You clearly have the custom camper. The bed is awesome. What's next? Um, right now, I'm going to take it easy. Just going to enjoy them and relax. Congratulations to Mike Remley for being honored with this year's LMC Truck Life Award. That C20 Custom Camper is definitely a fine ride. That's all the time we have for today's show from Bandemir Speedway. Next week, we'll be rolling into New England Dragway in Epping, New Hampshire for more Menards action. And remember, there are a dozen Menard Chevy shows on the 2017 calendar, and you can be sure there will be plenty of bowtie beauties on hand at every stop. See you next time.